Okay, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper, and we're going to figure out which of these pins are to ground because I didn't know when I first bought this jack and I couldn't find it easily online so I figured I would use the multimeter continuity setting to figure it out for myself and then just make a diagram and remember it in the future. And the way you do that is you would, you know, buy your jack and then you would buy your connector and you would connect them and then you would use the multimeter continu continuity setting, which is this one that kind of looks like Wi-Fi. And you would put your one test probe on the ground sleeve of the, the audio connector. And then you would test each of these. So here I've got nothing. Here I've got nothing. And here I've got continuity, which means that this middle one is the ground which is what i suspected anyway because it's just would seem like the right one to be ground for a stereo headphone jack but now we can test which one of these leads is connected to the audio sleeve of the jack the same way and it's this four pin right here or five pin because we would say one two three four five right so it's the fifth pin over here on the right side but we can test the other ones to see if any of the other ones work and they don't so we're looking at just this one pin so when we connect it on our breadboard we want to make sure this pin is connected to ground and this pin is connected to the uh, hot signal or the audio signal and we can do the same thing with the stereo jack, we would plug that in, and the stereo jack's gonna have three sleeves. Uh, the ground sleeve is the big one always, and then the left and the right channel, so we could come in and test this. So the small one is gonna be the five pin again, and let's check this uh, longer one here. I'm guessing it's gonna be the one pin, but there's only one way to be sure. So we're looking at five pin for the short one and the one pin for the long one. So we wanna make sure our stereo audio signal is coming one into pin one and one into pin five. And then, of course, the ground is going to be the same middle pin down here. Perfect. So that's how you use the multimeter to figure out which pins are connected to what in the audio jack world. I just figured I'd share that with you real quick, just in case you ever run into that problem with this little bad boy or something else. It worked the same way for a you know quarter inch jack and things like that. That's how you do it if you can't find the schematic or understand the schematic. Um, it's just something good to know. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.